How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel, Rob here, and today I'll be installing a small screen inside my PC case to be used as a resource monitor. So I've seen many different ways that this has been done, and I think it's actually really cool and pretty innovative of what we could do with our, our cases to customize it. And as someone who uses their second monitor to mostly check their, their specs and, and temperatures and clock speeds and make sure things are in line, uh, with their PC, I figured this would be a really cool way to kind of save the real estate of my second monitor and just have something constantly refreshing, up to date and being used directly inside the PC case uh, and just gonna make it a little more customized to, to my taste. Now I've seen some people put it directly inside their case, I've seen people use it in the PSU shroud and that's what I'll be doing today. Uh, since the P500A from Fantex does have this cutout for the PSU shroud and my PC PSU doesn't really have a screen or or anything sexy on it. I mean, it's just a reliable EVGA supernova power supply. I figured might as well pop it right in there and that way I'll be able to, to see the, the PC resources at all times. Now I've seen people use old smartphones for this. Um, I've seen people use tablets, uh, but this way I think is, is by far the easiest way and it's definitely the most customizable. So what this is, is actually just a monitor. So this will be used as kind of like a second or third monitor that will be connected to the graphics card. And all it's gonna do is display constantly the specs and temperatures of what's going on in the computer. So what this is, is a five inch monitor. It's actually a, a touch screen that's used for like Raspberry Pi and stuff that's connected through HDMI and it has USB power. And what it's gonna do is gonna slip right into the PSU shroud and then the glass is gonna go over it and it's just constantly gonna display the resources. But what's cool about that is you could use it to, to play video playback or pictures or anything you want. I mean, it's, it's just a monitor. You could even play games on it technically if you want since it's, it's just a screen. So what I've done is already I have a HDMI cable that is connected to the graphics card and it's running inside the PC case underneath the shroud and just kind of like rotating back here. So what I would say is important if you plan on doing something like this is make sure that you get a you don't use a really long HDMI cable because you don't want it to be just bunched up in there, but just measure about the length you need to go from your graphics card inside the case, wrapping around to the PSU shroud or however else you want to use it. And that way you'll be able to, to go ahead and, and pop that in. Okay, so initially I was thinking to just take the monitor, pop it into the opening over here and then just kind of plug everything in and let it sit. But unfortunately it doesn't fit. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out the PSU We'll just a cage of the PSU and then hopefully get it in there to connect it and then the PSU will make it make it sit above. So let's start with that. So what I'm gonna do now is just take out the power supply. Just need to take out those two thumb screws and that should allow me to just, there you go, remove the, the power supply without having to disconnect anything, which makes things really easy. And then as you could see here, I already have my HDMI and USB power already connected through the PC case. So let's take off the, let's peel the plastic over here. Not bad. Let us go ahead and let's do it this way. So got HDMI on top. So ideally we just pop in like this. Actually, no, we're gonna, we're gonna plug this stuff in first here. So we have HDMI, like so, and USB power, which also enables you to use it as a touch screen, but we don't really care about that, even though this monitor did come with a stylus. Of course, you try both sides for USB and it doesn't go through, so let's try the third side. And of course, third side works. Okay, so now that we have that and they're connected, we're just going to place it how we want, right there, look at that, beautiful. So it's gonna sit right there like that, hold it with this finger, and then take the cage of the PSU, put it right back in, and there you go. Let's tighten the PSU. Like that. Okay, PSU is in, monitor is in. I just want it to be a bit more inside. And there, just like that, we have a monitor inside the case. 
Okay, so now that we have the resource monitor into the PSU shroud, everything's connected. We're gonna go ahead and turn on the power supply. As you can see, there you go. We got some power to the monitor right away. Turn on the PC. And once that boots, we're gonna go into um, NZXT cam. We're gonna recognize this monitor and we're just gonna transfer over the resources that we wanna see in this monitor. It shows this as the default. Oh. Pro tip, if you guys wanna use a monitor attached to your PC, make sure that it is connected to the graphics card. That is if you want picture. Or else I'm gonna have to do everything on that little screen. Hey, you can see actually everything on that little screen over there. So now the fun part is, oh. Also, if you wanna use your wireless mouse, make sure that the dongle is connected to the PC. I'm just gonna put that here for now. Okay, so we can see we have two monitors. If you identify, you have identified, this is the first monitor and this is the second one. So that's pretty much it. And the advantage of that is obviously you wanna choose number one as your main display, not the little one that's inside your, your PC here. Here is NZXD cam. So we have CPU, GPU, RAM, network search, basically all we need anyway. And there you have it, just like that now. In my case, I have constant monitoring of my CPU, GPU temperatures, clock speeds, performance. I have RAM, network usage, drive usage, storage capacity, and all this could be customized. And like I said, since this is actually just a monitor inside your case, you could do anything you want to it. So that's pretty much it guys. It's it's a pretty simple uh, installation or customization to do to your case. All you just need is, is a screen, whether it's a, a five inch Raspberry Pi monitor, a old smartphone you have lying around or a tablet, you just find a way to connect it to the computer and you could use it as a resource monitor or just a way to play videos or pictures or anything you really want at the end of the day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, um, this little video of, of how to do something like this, if it's something that interests you. Let me know down below if you enjoyed it. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you really enjoyed it. If you want more stuff like this, let me know. And if you stuck around till the end, I'm guessing it's because you didn't dislike it, so I really appreciate it. So that'll do it, and I will catch you guys next time.